anytime we have uh, hand welds and thermoplastic, uh, we need to make sure that we probe our seams uh, to complete the, uh, the seaming process. We always want to make sure that we let the membrane cool down uh, 15 to 20 minutes before we probe. And, uh, and we want to probe aggressively. One thing you want to pay attention to is when you buy one of these brand new, uh, it's going to be extremely sharp. Uh, you want to dull that down uh, with a, a file, something like this. So we've already uh, taken a file of this one and it's uh, fairly blunt on the end. That's going to do a good job for us. As you use this, it's going to tend to sharpen itself up and uh, over time and you'll need to file it down again. When we probe our seams, uh, we want to put the, uh, the probe at a 90 degree angle uh, to the seam and pull it across the seam with some, with some good pressure, good hand pressure, uh, to try and determine uh, uh, whether or not we have any voids. The definitive test is always to cut the seam open, pull it apart, and, uh, and see what kind of weld you have. But uh, for a non-destructive method, uh, this is probably the best way to uh, check a seam. So we, uh, we probe our seams that we've just hand welded uh, to see if we have any voids. Uh, in this, in any of these seams. We always want to pay uh, particular attention to T-joint intersections. When we look at this, if we don't see a crease in the top, if they didn't uh, take their roller or their scissors or, or whatever and put some pressure on the top of that seam uh, as they're doing the uh, weld uh, and get that step off creased in, uh, they run the risk of uh, this being opened. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, and probe through this thing and we want to really look at this, and you can see how that probe went right in. That's a hit. We have to patch it, okay? So we're going we're gonna to mark those areas so we know where they're at. Uh, remember, we can't weld over anything that we mark the membrane with, all right? We're going to have to clean that off. We have PVC cleaner, JM PVC cleaner. Uh, if it's TPO, TPO, use the uh, TPO uh, membrane cleaner. Uh, the reason I stress uh, uh, probing and doing it the same day, during, doing it soon after you've uh, made these welds, is that when we find something like this, we always want to pull on it too to make sure that we're into a good weld, get it all the way out there, that um, uh, if we do this the same day, we have the ability to re-weld these areas and, and get them in tight. If you leave it go for a day or two or till the end of the job, uh, the, uh, the dirt or uh, rain or water gets in these voids and contaminates them. There's no way to clean that, um, that debris or that dirt out of that uh, small opening. And, uh, and you have to patch the area. You don't have any choice. Make sure you do it the same day. Probe all your work. Remember, no, weld, no hand weld is completed until you probe and you finish probing. All right? That's it.